Uh, you know what I think it's going to be? Mm -hmm. I think that they're just going to give us a bag of crickets. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm yes. Sola. And I'm Ham. And this is the show where we have one hour, one secret ingredient, mm -hmm. and we have to make dinner and dessert. What are your thoughts on Halloween? I don't think I've celebrated Halloween in a very, very, very long time. I threw a Halloween party once mm -hmm. when I was junior high. No one came. Didn't celebrate Halloween again. So that's our thoughts on Halloween. There you go. <laughs> Pumpkin? No, plastic. No. Oh no. What? It's a, is it like one of those it's like a plastic bucket filled, filled with, 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 with terrible things. Filled is? with terrible, terrible things. Yeah, yes. that's what it is. I thought well, we were monsters. friends. This is exactly why, this is why there's no more trust. Hot Pockets was difficult because it wasn't really necessarily something I enjoyed and it's tough to use. This is like, this is a solid, this is a solid like Halloween haul. You get, you got your Snickers, you got your Twix, you got some Swedish fish. What if we pick our favorite four to five candies mm -hmm. and do a candy tasting video? <laughs> oh, do a tasting let's video. do that. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, that sounds good. And then cool. each course will be uh, highlighting a different candy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it would be cool to do Swedish fish mm -hmm. with a fish course. I don't know what, but a fatty fish will do well with the sweetness, almost like a salmon teriyaki. What about mackerel? Whoa, too fishy though, don't you think? I don't think so. What, fresh mackerel? Mm -hmm. what, what are you thinking? Like Grilled. glazing it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like okay, that's Broiled, cool. like get a lot of char on there. Broiled, glazed. Something pickly, probably sweetened with melted down that, like a pickle made out of that. What else calls to you? What about picking the sour things? Endive? Endive. Endive, Sour Patch Kids. See, I want to grill that too, but th that's grilled. Is it like too much grilling? I don't think it's too much grilling because you really need char and bitterness to deal with all this candy. Okay, should it be a grilled candy tasting menu? Maybe I can run home and bring the Binchotan grill. I see head shaking, no. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, did they? Oh, okay. What do you think about peanut butter with beef? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. You want to do like a braised short rib? A braised with like some, some peppery grains, like some mustard grains. A broth could be nice somewhere. Yeah, make the broth. I was thinking something like an awa chile with that. That's cool. And then move that first and include like a raw scallop and then bring this later. So it goes light raw scallop into grilled mackerel. So bitter green, yeah. fatty mackerel, Swedish fish glaze. Yeah. That sounds nice. That sounds, that sounds good. Did you have a thought for dessert? I think it would be cool to do various textures of chocolate. So something with a Tootsie Roll. Okay. I think the toffee almond is cool because it's like just going to be bits in there, right? Is this thrilling content? Watching us put, I'm sure this is just reminding everyone of Halloween. Cause I'm like, the first thing you do is always dump it out and, and categorize it, no? Okay, th this is for pre-dessert. Yeah, oh, that's the pre-dessert spot. Still don't know what we're doing there. Skittles? Skittles. Skittles and airheads. Skittles and airheads, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do Starburst over Skittles cause there's no shell to deal with. Yeah, sounds good. All right, pre-dessert. Okay, I always like cold. Sorbet? Yeah, cold, frozen. And then we'll see what, what kind of fruit, nice fruit we can find. Fruit and um, sorbet. And then fruit and sorbet. Keep it like yeah, really. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, easy. Now dessert. Do you think we should do some kind of molten chocolate situation? That's what I was thinking. I, I want the chew of the Tootsie Roll. Like I like the idea of melting it down and turning it into a sheet mm -hmm. and just like drape it over the molten chocolate cake. Do you ever enjoy in the rare times you have a molten eating chocolate a veil? cake? Eating, not, not even that, eating a molten chocolate cake without a cold dairy component. So then we do the cake, mm -hmm. the ice cream, cover the whole thing. And then cover thing. the whole thing, okay. And then you don't see what's going on. Yeah, and okay, that like, works. Whoa. And then that's the whole thing. Did it. Course one, mm -hmm. scallop, sweet potato, a chile. Mm -hmm. 
Like we're gonna have like scallop slices mm -hmm. and then maybe our sweet potato strand things here. Can we sheet it? Yeah, yeah. And cut it into strips and then arrange that throughout because oh, I think it'll look weave nice. Weave it, weave, weave it. it, yeah. Like don't ha not have it be so like symmetrical. Weave like, it throughout the yeah. scallop. Because then, then when then you pour the aguachile, it will have like a little. Table side pour. Yeah. In it, so we're gonna do like a shallow bowl. Yeah. And we'll have the crunchies like on top. On, on top. Okay, and then broth. And then little uh, thin, thin slices of like. Fresno chilies throughout. Oh yeah, that's cool. Like very small red onion moons. You're still getting all of the garnishes you would get, but it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do... We have how long for the beginning? <laughs> Plenty of time. Will we get to the cooking today? <laughs> Here, okay, mackerel. <laughs> and then it's gonna have treviso nearby. Yeah. This one's easy and quick. It's just glazed. It's glazed. That's it's it. It's glazed. Yeah. All right, so we got our, that's our short rib. Mm -hmm. You want to do boneless? Yeah. And then it's going to have a little plantain boat. Mm -hmm. Whoa. We're going to also do some celery situation. Yeah. With the leaves and stalks, just toss it together with like some acid. And then, oh, we got to, we got to shove something in there. Cheesy, yeah. cheesy roasted plantain. It's like an after school snack. Mm -hmm. With some very short rib. It's no big deal. Yeah. All right. We're making progress. Smooth sail. Well, and here, okay. This one's also pretty easy. There's our quenelle mm -hmm. and then October fruits. I feel like persimmon's the perfect pre dessert fruit because it's like bright and floral and it's like a really nice palate cleanser. Last course mm -hmm. Hershey's molten chocolate cake with Tootsie Veil. Cake. Ball. Veil. This will be impressive if we pull it off. I think we did it. This seems like an appropriate celebration of Halloween. I think we might not finish. Yeah. We're yeah. cutting the sorbet. And instead we're sorbet. taking the persimmons from that and incorporating it into the mackerel. So we're still, persimmons are still getting their time to shine. There is one surprise element, which is that there is a guest who will be tasting. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. This is the this is the one. Why? <laughs> Who's the guest? Is it Bobby Flay? <laughs> <laughs> I want to look in my eyes. <laughs> is it Pete Wells? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a good game face. You should play poker. Three, uh -huh. two, one, go. I'm gonna get this reducing for my peanut butter sauce for the. Reese's peanut butter cup sauce for the steak. Tootsie rolls. Now I unwrap Tootsie rolls for our Tootsie veil. So I don't know if this is gonna do what I want it to do, but why, why is this one shaped differently? The first step of everything is I'm making a quick dashi. It brings a nice oceanic umami like hit to everything. It's just a nice backbone to layer other flavors on top of. So in there I have a piece of kombu that I'm going to bring up to a simmer. And then this is some um, katsubushi, uh, smoked tuna that I'm going to steep into that almost like a tea. Uh, that's gonna sit in there for a bit. I'm gonna strain it out and boom, you got your dashi. Okay, tootsie wow. rolls. I'm gonna get going on the cake. So I need to melt some chocolate and butter. We're gonna do a mix of this chocolate and this chocolate. Now I'm making pickle liquid for the persimmon for the mackerel dish. In the aguachile, we're going with sour punch and sour patch. And for the mackerel and pickle liquid, it's gonna be the Swedish fish. That's gonna be the sweetener in the liquid and the sweetener in the glaze. This one feels so much more tense than every other. Well, there's a secret guest that you won't even yeah, tell us the, about. Yeah, the, the mood changed. <laughs> there, we've been like, it's been like, yeah, pseudo stressful, but like not really, because the stakes are, I mean, the stakes aren't very high. Now this mystery guest that you throw on us. Well, look at that, look at that Swedish fish. 
pickle. It melted. Swedish fish, persimmon pickle. There we go. We have, we have pickles, so we'll serve pickles. So I'm just looking for some char on these aromatics. So I'm doing high heat. And I'm going to build my agua chile in here. Taking out the kombu. You can see that the color of the water has changed from just even that little bit of kombu in that short amount of time. Adding my katsubushi. I'm um, seeding guajillo chilies, costeño chilies, and I'm not seeding arbol chilies. They're just there. All right, I'm gonna strain madashi. How are you doing, Ham? I'm doing all right. Dashi is done. I may now proceed with every dish. Spoon. Ginger's gonna be for the sauce. Wanna cut the peanut butter with some ginger and some chili. So here, this is our Chile town. And I'm hoping this adds sweetness, color, and acidity. Okay, so this is where we have our charred onion and garlic. I'm gonna go right into there with this water. Now this goes into the fridge to cool. So this is the dashi that I'm adding Swedish fish to, to make a Swedish fish glaze for the mackerel and pickled persimmon. Swedish fish and dashi, it's no big deal. 47 minutes, okay. Cake batter, my, my bra straps are just like falling. Okay. <laughs> I am smushing Tootsie Rolls. This is the chocolate. I'm gonna start on the cake batter. Who's the special guest, guys? Huh? Huh? Who? Who? This is for the molten chocolate cake. I don't know why we're making the Michelle Bras version. Should have just made the Jean Georges cake. It's so much easier. I'm piping the cake batter, and then I'm gonna push one of these chocolate things right in the middle. All right, let's see what happens with that. Watch out, it's gonna flambe. Whoa, whiskey, fire. Uh, this is to finish the aguachile. I, I don't feel that confident right now. Once like at least one dish is fully done, I'll, I'll feel better, but I'm not close to that point yet. That's not bad. It's a nice sticky glaze. That's what I was looking for. 32 minutes. 32 minutes. That's not, it's pretty terrible. What's terrible? The What's Swedish fish glaze. Oh no. It's not done reducing yet. Does it taste too much like Swedish fish? Yeah, that's, the problem is the Swedish fish. Are Swedish fish cherry flavor? What is the flavor? Medicine. It's becoming sauce. We're getting there. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Pam, the short ribs are thinner than I thought. Uh huh. Should I just like keep it really rare? Yeah. Yeah, yeah all right. Out the, the bones, and I'm just kind of trimming it. The, the tail piece can be a little bit tough and sinewy. There's some discoloration up here that I'm not a fan of, so I'm just giving it a little trim. What I'm making, I've turned this into essentially a sheet pan dinner. Is that how you're this doing is, this it? This is what the tasting menu is. It's, a, it's become a sheet. This is what you've done to me. Someone's gonna eat this mackerel and Swedish fish sheet pan dinner. Uh, 
dog. All right, peanut butter cup time. Okay, sauce. Yeah, these are base scallops, Nantucket base scallops. And I'm gonna marinate it in a little bit of the awachile. Oh, there's no lime in here. That's just, this is the unlimed base. Unlimed. Yeah, because I'm looking just to get some salt, some heat, some, some of that uh, Sour Patch fl flavor in there. Because if I add the lime into it now, it's gonna start cooking, that those proteins are gonna start denaturing and I don't want that to happen quite yet. The cheese is gonna go inside the plantain and then melt. And this is Ham's favorite snack. Oh, yes, with a glass of milk. Okay, so plantain, short rib. I'm not gonna try and make a pre-dessert. Should I? Nah, okay, it's fine. Treviso's done. It's like in the chicory family. It's a bitter green, like a, like a radicchio. How are you, Ham? I'm doing okay, I'm, I'm about to plate the scallop right now. Hmm. It's not terrible. The Swedish fish in here works. Charred Treviso. A little, it needs a little more time. Tastes like meat. We do know. What do you think on, about this short rib situation? Yeah, it looks great. And then we're gonna stick a plantain there. Tootsie roll isn't doing what I thought it would. It's not failing. Wow. I'm really counting down to the wire here. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Ten seconds. Oh god. Ice cream. Let's see. Shove it in there. You can do it. Oh my god, that was so hard, guys. It felt like a struggle the whole, the way, whole through. way through. The whole way through the was whole a way struggle. Through. We've given up already. <laughs> but we haven't tasted we it. We haven't tasted we it. We haven't tasted it. We'll taste it and then and we'll, then we'll, we'll reserve decide. further judgment uh -huh. until we've tasted it. Yeah. Are we ready for the guests? Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Is there going to be a drum roll? Do they know they're supposed to be walking in? <laughs> they, they, they Hi. Hi. Pri Are you disappointed? <laughs> oh, Priya. They've just been, we guessed you and then she was like, no. They're like, no, it, it's not someone from the New York Times. It is. How it like? I found out only half an hour that the ingredient was Halloween candy and I may not have come if I had known that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, lots of faith in us. <laughs> but then I thought about what you all did with uh, Jello, and I got really excited. Temper your expectations. Yeah. Have a drink. Oh, this is just whiskey on the rock. This is yeah, it's just whiskey. Okay. We're not wasting time. So okay. this is a base scallop aguachile. Okay, I was about to say this. Give me aguachile vibes. And the aguachile is made with sour punch straw. So that's where the acidity and the color comes from. Okay. Spiked with a little guajillo, arbol chili for like that kick, some charred garlic and onion, and the base instead of water is dashi. I just realized that in my mind, when they said Halloween candy, I thought you just had to do candy corn. So I thought this was gonna be like an all candy corn meal. That's this what is he thought that it was. was the, that, that's why <laughs> it's like, it yeah. not candy corn. Anything this is so much candy. better. Yes. Like you yes. have like sort of full range of ingredients to work with. All right. 
This is pretty awesome. I'm tasting like a very intense like salt and tart note. Like there's no way that I ever would have been able to identify that sour punch. Oh, why didn't you like that? That's great. That's really good. It's really this good. Is fantastic. Why didn't it's like you really like nuanced. It? The broth, yeah. the awa chili is like there's smoky, mm. smokiness, sweetness, tartness. Like it, it hits. Yeah. It, it hits in a way it's that really I good. Also, like it, I would say the most sour punch straw element is how it has that sort of like pucker to it. Oh, great note. Which yeah. is really nice. So this is the Swedish fish course, and I don't know if you can tell, it's plated very Nordically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, that, that was, was my, yes, that, my that was first thought was how Nordic. Pickled persimmons. Mm -hmm. The persimmons are pickled in Chinese wine, Swedish mm. fish, and some apple cider vinegar. So that we made some dashi, reduced that down with Swedish fish to make a glaze, and then that's what we glazed the mackerel and the treviso in, and then just broiled it to get some char hoping that will offset some of that sweetness. I appreciate that you're basically just boiling the candies down to their like most their, essential their essence, elements. Yeah. Their essence, essence of candy. I wanna try, I love persimmon. I will say I'm getting less Swedish fish in this than I was getting sour punch straws in the previous course, mm -hmm. but, it's, but maybe that's for the best. Maybe. Yeah, it's like, it's a solid grilled fish and pickled stuff plate. It tastes Nordic. It tastes, it I tastes taste, very Nordic. It tastes more Nordic than I taste Swedish fish. I mean, if anything, it's like the Swedish fish is just, it's just like the, the sweet you add to something to just provide a little bit of balance in the dish, but you're not yeah. like detecting pronounced sweetness. I could have gone for a little more Swedish fish. More Swedish fish, please. If you serve, if you serve this is a Nordic restaurant, they wouldn't suspect a thing. Well, little did you know, Swedish fish is actually a traditional <laughs> Nordic sweetener. During times of, of drought. <laughs> so the sauce is ginger, chili, peanut butter sauce. I wanted a little bit of heat from the whiskey, the ginger, and the chili to cut the richness yep. of the peanut butter cup. There's like a lot of peanut butter cups in there. We'll see. The short rib is just salt and pepper. Okay. Roasted plantain with manchego. Uh, celery with lime. Do you all feel like you are better cooks when given limitations? Like you have to cook with peanut butter cups? Yeah. I always. feel like I, I feel like I always am yeah. when given limitations. Yeah. Always, you have less um, room to overthink. I feel like and my nightmare getting... is like walking to a grocery store and having no list, no limit, like mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. you want. Like the, you're right, the ginger really does cut through it. There are enough nicely. savory notes in there to offset it, and it doesn't taste like a candy bar anymore. All right, our final course: chocolate lava cake. Okay. With oh, these are made of Flex tootsie rolls. Flexible tootsie roll. Flexible tootsie roll. How did you make the tootsie roll into these fun strands? Just put it in the oven and smushed it. So this is just straight up tootsie roll. It's just straight up tootsie roll. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Wow, the tootsie roll. It in there? Hey, it's still kind of molten still somehow. Molten. Ah, Look wow. That. Wait, huh? this is so clever. Oh, it's still molten. It's what still what are Hershey's treasures? Or is it just milk chocolate? It, it's a little like nuggets. chunky nugget yeah. that had the one that I put in there. The one that's in the core has an almond brittle. That's why we got the almond brittle ice cream. And the ones that are in the batter are dark chocolate. It's good. My go-to Halloween candy. This is, this is such a niche one. Giant chewy sweet tarts. What? I love sour and I love chewy. Those are like probably two of my favorite things. And I love the giant ones. You just could like suck on them and they would get chewier and chewier. We did it. Yeah, a, a meal hour. out of Halloween candy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This was a fantastic meal. Even when we were done, we didn't think we did it. So this is like a big surprise. I, know, I feel like it always feels like a surprise. This one legitimately was like, almost as if someone else prepared the meal and we were also trying it for the first time. We're like, oh, who made this? This is pretty good. Whoa, hey, it just happens so fast that you don't process it. And I didn't, I, I also didn't taste my food as much as I feel comfortable. Like usually you like taste a lot and do a lot of adjusting, but. It means that your base instincts are very good. I was lucky. <laughs>